Yo, what's good? What's cracking? What's happening? Yeah, this is Mr. Blake Franco here. This is the VCW Rundown for VCW Hotbox, our first pay-per-view. I thank everybody that came to check out the pay-per-view. And of course, if you like this rundown, like, subscribe, follow, and share all that good stuff as well. As there's always a live stream every Saturday at 4 p.m. right here on Blade Franco Plays. So enough talking, let's dive right into this. As we start off the card for VCW Hotbox, we start off with a fatal four-way tables match between four former television champions, Zack Sabre Jr., Kenosuke Kaneshka, Matt Cardona, and our current reigning champion, Miro, as they all battle out for the VCW television title. And look, all right, I'm going to be real with you guys right here. This match went so dumb shit wrong. Literally, the match only lasted 14 seconds. 14 seconds. Here, peep it. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Kanosuke wins. Moving on. As we move on to our second match of the night, we had Hikaru Shida go one-on-one -on -one against Broken Doll as this matches the field of rivalry that oddly came about from Dahl scouting Sheeta, but I guess she wasn't happy with Sheeta performances over the week, even though it was literally a week. But of course, Sheeta doing everything she can to make sure to put down Broken Doll so that way Dahl could leave her be because you know Broken Doll will stay on to somebody. But with little offense, that's all Dahl really needs to get back in control of the matchups. But then, as it went back and forth for a while, these two was putting on an excellent match until Dahl got close with this side suplex, only to get a two count, but it was impressive nonetheless. Then, of course, Sheeta had to end it out herself, giving a Falcon Arrow and a Katana Kick straight to the head of Dahl to get the one, two, three. Congratulations to Sheeta, and hopefully this puts away this rivalry for a while. Now, heading into our second title match of the night, we had our challenger, Tensuya Naito, going up against the champion Carmelo Hayes with Trick Williams in the corner as they battle it out for the VCW Intercontinental Championship. Naito's already coming off 2-0 against Hayes pretty much in the normal weeks. So coming into the big view, hey, Naito was hot. As you see, he had a good control in the match in the beginning. But of course, with a little distraction from Trick Williams, it kind of helped change the difference in this whole match alone, getting a close call with the leg drop. And after a long brawl, which I would highly recommend if you guys watch any matches from the live, I highly recommend you guys watch this match. I was a personal favorite. But of course, as you see, he got the leg drop off the springboard, able to retain his title and his only victory against Naito. Congrats to Taze. Hopefully he can do it better next time. Now we head into our third title match of the night as little homie and Tony D'Angelo of the family goes in a tag team match as challengers against Finn Balor and Damian Priest the champions as it's for the VCW tag team titles. And of course, if the family does not win, the family would have to disband for good. And they took that shit to heart. The family definitely was trying to put up a fight with Judgment Day the whole match. The match went on for 30 minutes long. If you like tag team matches, you're welcome to peep it. Me, myself, I was more amazed that the family was hanging on for so long. But the ending is what really drove me kind of like, really? The match ended out into a legit count out as he took out both his opponents. So the family won and they're not disband, but they don't get the belts, which leads to a rematch at VCW Live. Moving along. Our next matchup of the night was a fatal four-way match elimination style as all four women battled out for the number one contendership to the VCW Women's World title. As you see, we got Becky, Belair, Asuka, and Bailey. This match was pretty good, honestly. I enjoyed watching this as it was like two of the horse women going up against two other women that were just high profile in Asuka and Belair. And of course, just like in WB and BCW, they are talented. But unfortunately for Becky Lynch, she was the first to be eliminated thanks to Asuka Lock and getting rolled on, of course. But the match continued on, the aggression sticked on. All three of these women did not slow down a second. But this was where Bailey unfortunately got taken out, being dropped by Bel Air to get the pin by Asuka and follow with Asuka getting the Asuka Lock on Bel Air, signifying the goddess. The Empress of Tomorrow is not only your number one contender, she is definitively your number one contender. Now it's time 
for our fourth title match of the night as all the titles were on the line. We have the challenger Raquel Rodriguez going up against the champion Angela Van Diva as they battle out for the VCW Internet Championship. Off the rip, Raquel was doing everything she can because this rivalry was already heated over the past couple of weeks. And Raquel, damn. And all Raquel wanted to do was dominate. Of course, Van Diver wasn't going to let that slide easy, but for some reason, the strength of Raquel just seemed to keep more control of the match over time, especially with that big elbow drop. As you see, Van Diver had a last string trying a violation to get a two count, but unfortunately it was not enough as Raquel was able to come with not one, but two tequila bombs and a splash from the corner, all to put down her opponent and become the brand new VCW internet champion. As we keep going on with this hot box burning high, we have a showcase match with CM Punk going up one-on-one -on -one against the Eaters of World Bray Wyatt. And this match right here, this match was something that I could say you can enjoy if you wanted to watch a normal TV match between a living legend CM Punk and a passed away legend Bray Wyatt, rest in peace. But man, this match was pretty good. Everything was very technical. CM Punk has had a lot of big moments in this match. We had to use a lot of big moves to put down the ears of the world. To where this was the finish, a Pepsi plunge from the corner just to put down the ears of the world. Congratulations to CM Punk and welcome back to WWE. <laughs> now we're heading into one of three main events that we have for Hot Box as our challenger Charlotte Flair goes one-on-one -on -one with the champion Rhea Ripley of Judgment Day as it was for the VCW Women's World Championship. And this match started off heavy as these two you already know has beef. And in the game, they wasted no time. Heavy moves and weaponry. God damn, all from the beginning as you heard from those chops. This was a close pin for Rhea in the middle of the match, but then of course Charlotte Flair had to showcase why she's the queen with this high fury of offense, even with a figure eight. But Rhea wasn't taking that easy, even though Charlotte had that most control. And after a long brawl on the outside, and I mean a long brawl on the outside, the match ended off with these two beating the hell out of each other with a hockey stick, only for Charlotte to get the last hit, make her fall onto the ladder, and get the pin to where I'm kind of worried. I think Rhea might be injured, but as we check on that later, congratulations right now to the new VCW Women's World Champion, Charlotte Flair, and we can't wait to see what competition is ready to come for her next. Now for the second main event of the night, we had the VCW Hot Box match as Hangman Adam Page, main event Jey Uso, LA Knight, yeah. Will Ospreay, the aerial assassin, Christian Cage, the prodigy, and Tiger Style Lee Moyati. This was all of your Money in the Bank style match, of course, so everybody was brawling at each other, trying to make sure they could get that hot box. Christian was one of the main people to watch in this match because he just kept kept going for the briefcase. Smart, but he always tried to do it while everybody else was distracted. Will Ospreay was laying a layout to everybody to where I don't think he was worried about the hot box. But of course, the match was phenomenal. Everybody was doing as much as they can. As I said, Hangman and Christian was literally the only two kept trying to go for the briefcase, weirdly enough. But towards the end, Christian was literally doing everything he can to try to get this briefcase, only for one slip up to happen to where Hangman Page in the ring by himself was able to climb up the ladder and gain the VCW hot box. So congratulations to Hangman Page as he now has a free number one contendership content whatever he feels. Now it's time for our main event as we had Gunther, the challenger, making his way to go up against the champion, Mr. Blade Franco, as it was for the VCW World Heavyweight Championship. For the past couple of weeks, this match was definitely hyped for a good while. Now we're seeing two heavyweights really go at it. Oh shit, oh shit, god damn. And I mean go at it. Those chops was not pleasant throughout the whole match. But nevertheless, Gunther was getting somewhere with these close rear naked chokes and this power slam almost getting the two count to become a new champion. But even though Gunther's been doing all the damage throughout the whole match, Franco was able to get out this choke over a second time, deliver a close 808, almost ending it there. But then of course Franco had to beat Franco. Straight aggression towards the end. Doing everything he can, throwing every hit towards Gunther. And after another 808 and a twisted complexion, he was able to get the victory and retain his VCW World Heavyweight Championship. 
congratulations to our current and still reigning champion, Mr. Blade Franco. And we now gonna see who, who is gonna come after him next. And that concludes our VCW rundown for our first pay-per-view VCW Hotbox. Once again, I thank everybody who chose to come check out the live. Even if you peeped a little bit, I thank you. And of course, like I said, every week you want to catch on and watch the show live, come right here for the live stream at 4 p.m. every Saturday for VCW Live. So of course, I'll see you guys next time and stay wrestling. Yeah, yeah.